Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here to teach you another Kong tutorial. So we're going to open up our Kong underneath our main mixer. And uh, I've had a lot of people request this type of uh, activity. They're asking, what can you do um, in order to send each of your pads out to its own channel on the mixer? Um, more accurately, how do you send your drum modules out to each channel on the mixer? So here's how I would go about doing it. Uh, first thing I would do is I would add the different drums that you want to have. So let's just add a few drums in here. Uh, let's do a physical snare. Let's do a tom. Let's do a uh, synth snare. Let's do a hi hat. Um, we'll do that'll be closed. This will be open. seven I will do a synth tom okay so now you've got your different drums okay not very impressive because they're all default sounds but this is the basic idea um, what I found is you can really do seven straight outputs um, through Kong so in order to set it up first thing you're gonna do after you add in all your drums um, send them to each individual outs here Okay, so that's five six. This is seven eight. This is nine ten. This is eleven twelve. Thirteen fourteen, and fifteen sixteen. Okay, so now that you've got your seven drums, what you're gonna do is flip it to the back of the rack by hitting tab. Um, I will send each of these outputs to their own channels. Okay. And I can delete channel one because I don't really need it. I don't need a direct output from Kong. I just need the individual outs here. So once you've done that, let's flip around. Now, every time that you press your drums, you're going to go on the different channels up here on your um, on your mixer. Okay, they're all dedicated to their own channels. Okay, that's the basics of it. Now, if you want, you can still use FX1 and FX2. Okay, so I could still um, use a filter on FX1. Okay. I could still use, if I wanted to, I could use a room reverb. Okay, so you can still use FX1, FX2. You just can't really use your um, bus effects or your master effects um, because these are all you know, getting directed to the individual outputs. Um, so that's the basic way I would set it up. Now you can't really have, I mean you could have up to 10 drums because you do have these other master effects, bus effects, and the main output. So you could have, um, you could have a few more drums going out. However, to keep things sane, what I would do is I would do it just have these seven, and if you need more than that, you can just create another Kong. Um, so that's how you do it. That's how I would go about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that uh, shows you how it's done. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm Rob at Reason101.net. Appreciate it.